Crazy how I came across your video. He man. said you just started watching. Yeah, like last Dang. week I came across. Do you want this mug? Yeah, I just like yeah. to keep it dark though. I don't like the thin fades. Whatever you think is best. Definitely a fade. Fade the beard in. You cool with me making his skin like right here and right yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So this client found me on YouTube. Um, he came from my free haircut series if you guys want a free cut. I'm in Philly. Send a pic of your hair. Submit it um, to the number on the website. And we're going to get you taken care of. Um, I believe he came from out west, out in PA. So I'm in Philly. It's basically right near New Jersey. I believe he drove from out in PA. Um, so shout out to him. So we're going to debulk everything. We're just going to do a simple taper fade. I do these cuts. I, I cut textures like this every day pretty much. So I could do cuts like this in my sleep. Um, very easy, just fading curly hair. Um, for full length versions of haircut videos such as these, check out the Patreon, 15 bucks a month. So let's talk. Um, I, don't, I don't really explain what I do during these haircuts. I kind of just let you guys uh, watch. Um, but this is kind of like a pointless cut. I ain't gonna say it's pointless because you can kind of see his hairline with his when his dreads hang over. But if someone had like a full head of dreads, it'd be kind of pointless. Um, but yeah, he says he was growing his hair for like two years, and I was like, that's crazy growth for two years. That's incredible. Um, so I'm just gonna taper his sides. The reason I'm doing this, it'll make the cut look better, the contrast effect. Um, and then going into the beard, definitely will look dope. Um, I'm definitely gonna push his C-cup back. Um, one, it'll look better. Two, um, it just fits it. It just fits the canvas. Um, sometimes when you keep stuff too natural, like every cut is some sort of pushback, unless you're doing like a all, all scissor haircut, honestly. Um, I have a lot of clients who come to me and they say, yo, I don't want nothing pushed back. And I say, okay. And they, they legit just want a regular haircut. They don't want it sharp. They just want it a cleanup. That's it. So different clientele for different, you know, people want different things. You can't force something on everyone. You just can't. And you guys seen his hairline. I think I gave you guys a nice little preview of it. His hairline looked very tricky. I knew it wasn't going to be too hard once I got to it, but it, it definitely looks intimidating. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys this secret. It's not even really a secret. It's, I'm sure a lot of barbers can relate. Whenever you're doing any type of undercut like this, the haircut's going to be easy because there's a disconnection. What a disconnection is, is just when you're just shaving hair up. So I, I pretty much just shaved all this hair. That's all I'm doing. You may say I'm fading right now. Not really, because I'm just, I'm just fading technically is just going from shorter to longer, but I'm not connecting nothing. The only thing I'm connecting is his lineup. That's it. So for the hairline of someone with dreads or braids, it's pretty easy. You're just shaving it and then just making it symmetrical. All I really had to do, the hardest part about cutting Afro hair, in my opinion, is making the hairline symmetrical. When I was starting out, that was the hardest. But once you get it, I can literally do it with my eyes closed. I can shape someone up without even looking at them straight on. I could just do it from the side because that's how much I do it. That's how much I practice it. I can do it in my sleep.
And honestly, when you get to this point in your career, it's it's not about people used to come to me for like super straight hairlines and all that. People come to me now because I care about the craft. So that means I'm going to care about their hair. I care about people's image. I care about how the haircut's balanced, how the shape is looking. That's what I care about now. I don't really care about hairlines anymore. I don't. Or fading or blurriness. It, it's just pointless. It, it gets deeper than that. I care about the why, the understanding how the hair works, the how, the why. That's what I care about now. It's just good to adapt. I always tell people I'm a great adapter. I can adapt um, to many different circumstances, especially in the, in the business aspect. So look at his hairline. It doesn't look crazy now, but I know once we cut it down, I'm gonna take this two, go with the grain. Then I'm gonna flip it and go against. It's best to just take this area of hair down a little lower. This is my three guard actually, not my two, my bad. Then I'm gonna go to my one and a half. So I'm gonna start in the middle. I didn't use no hair spreading. All that stuff is just, honestly, it's not necessary. Like all that white line stuff is just, it's just not necessary. I start in the middle, work my way to the right side or to his left side. Now I already did the C cups. You guys remember when I did that part. I usually don't do that, but sometimes I just switch it up. And I connect everything. So without enhancements, it looks sharp. Now we add a little bit of enhancements. To make the entire hairline look dark. Especially this corner, this was very, he had a light corner over here. He told me this was one of his concerns. And to groom the beard, I'm gonna go with the green and then against it a little bit. Every haircut should be custom to your client's face, to his head shape. Um, to his hairstyle. So obviously this is a hairstyle. Um, what are these like rope twists? Yeah, they're kind of like rope twists, dreadlocks, barrel twists. Um, I'm knowledgeable about dang near every hair. If I'm wrong, let me know. To me, they look like barrel twists. Um, so yeah, we're going to trim up his mustache a little bit. And shout out to Easy Blade Shaving Products. My code is on the screen and the website's on the screen. So this is how my client came in. Look at that hairline. And this is how he's leaving. Let's take his hair down and that's how it's looking. It's your boy four and I'm out. Peace.